suit that nobody wants to wear. Would you? Staphylococcus aureus has become a global pandemic issue. Over thousands of persons have become infected with this nosocomial infection. But some may ask, if given this opportunity, would you want to be educated about this nosocomial infection? Well, I am Abigail Brown, back with another episode of Health is Wealth. And today, my colleagues and I will be educating you all more about the methicillin-resistant Staphylococcus aureus. And now, I will hand over to Sudani Robinson. Thank you, Abby. I'm Sunani Robinson, and I'll be doing the causative agent of the microorganism Staphylococcus aureus. The title of my poem is The Tattoo No One Wants to Wear. Staphylococcus aureus, the natural inhibitant of human and animal skin, they can cause infections affecting many organs within. Methicillin resistant S. aureus, MRC, the strain of S. aureus, resists antibodies including methicillin, oaxillin, penicillin, amoxicillin, and cephalosporins. Thus, we should apply great caution when taking care of our body. Symptoms of MRSA depends on the infected areas, so it's best to be vigilant of this bacteria. Infections from this microorganism can cause bacteremia, endocarditis, heart valve infections, folliculitis, cellulitis, scalded skin syndrome, osteomyelitis, bone infections, septicemia, blood poisoning, pulmonary infections, pneumonia, and pyemia, gastroenteritis, meningitis, toxic shock syndrome, and urinary tract infections. That's just to name a few. However, you can always go back and review. These infections can result in being mild to severe or life-threatening conditions. Nevertheless, it depends on the strain involved and the site of these infections. Be aware, take care. Staphylococcus aureus is a tattoo no one wants to wear. I'll now hand over to Kessia. Images showing Staphylococcus aureus. Thank you, Sudani. I'll now be speaking on the portals of entry and exit. In order for Staphylococcus aureus to cause illness, there must be contact, growth of the bacteria, invasion, and infection. Portals of entry are the sites through which pathogens enter a host. Portals of entry include broken skin, mucous membranes, respiratory tract, and the gastrointestinal tract. Portals of exit are the paths or openings that a microorganism may take in order to get out of a host to enter a new host. Portals of exit include the skin or open wounds and the nose or mouth. I'll now hand over to Abby. Thank you, Kessia. So now I'll be educating persons on how MRSA can be transmitted. So methicillin resistant Staphylococcus aureus can be transmitted through direct skin-to-skin -skin contact or an item that is shared such as your towels that has come into contact with an individual that has active MRSA. However, MRSA can be easily transmitted through five C's factors, which include one, crowding, which is frequent skin-to-skin -skin contact, two, contact, three, comprised skin, which is cut, four, contaminated surfaces, and five, lack of cleanliness. I will now hand over to Patricia. You, Abby. Prevent MRSA now. The Staphylococcus aureus bacteria is of great concern. The methicillin resistant strain is one we hope to overturn. Beware. Take care. To prevent transmission between patients, just follow these protocols. Identify carriers, Isolate the source, encourage hand washing, and the area should soon be safe for all. Ensure you tell each patient, do not share personal items like your razor, your towel, or rag. Do not let infected clients leave their rooms, roam the halls, or this should raise a red flag. 
Be careful that you don't ignore the staff who may also be carrying the germ. Employees in high-risk areas of work should be properly monitored and screened before you can confirm. Wear your gloves, your gowns, and your mask before you take on any patient care tasks. Keep your nails short and your hair out of sight. And always remember to wash your hands. It is only right. Take extra care to keep medical devices clean by sanitizing and disinfecting before each use. Comply to wound care protocol and monitor the types of antibiotics you choose. MRSA infections will not go away on its own. It's up to all of us to keep its prevalence rate down. You know how it's caused and you know how it is spread. Practice what you preach or we will soon end up dead. I will now hand over to Amoya. These are images showing how a person should practice proper hygiene as a way of preventing MRSA infection. Thank you, Patricia. Roles of the nurse. The major roles of the nurse when and after preparing patients with methylene resistant Staphylococcus aureus, MRSA includes 1. Ensure a clean environment. Use disposable cloth and mops and ensure chlorine-based products are used for cleaning. 2. Ensure isolation and contact transmission precautions. Patients should be isolated in a room and doors should be kept closed at all times. 3. Encourage strict hand hygiene. Ensure hand is performed. Use soap and water and or alcohol-based hand rub as appropriate. 4. Decontamination of patient's equipments. Provide appointed equipment where possible for the patient's use only. And five, educate patients about MRSA. Educating patients is a significant yet unrecognized factor in preventing the spread of MRSA infection. I'll now hand over to Abby. Images showing nurses wearing PPE and cleaning equipment using chlorine-based product. Thank you, Amaya. So now I will be educating persons about the treatment of MRSA. When MRSA is diagnosed, the patient will be given an antibiotic. The treatment for MRSA is categorized in two criteria, one at home. So the treatment at home includes a 7 to 10 day course of antibiotics, which is given by mouth, such as clindamycin, minocycline as well as others and these are given to the patients. Also, the healthcare provider can come to your house and drain the infected area known as pus by inserting a needle. Two, in the hospital. The treatment in the hospital includes one, the patient is treated with an intravenous medication, which is an antibiotic. Lastly, other medications which can be given to persons infected with MRSA includes vancomycin, tiacoplanin, and daptomycin. from all my colleagues. Why would you want a tattoo like methicillin resistant Staphylococcus aureus? I urge you all to protect yourself, wash your hands, and until then, I am Abigail Brown, and remember that health is wealth.